Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're gonna be working on this truck today. Me and the uh, the wife picked up some new tires for it, and I think you'll be pretty excited to see what we got for this truck. So stay tuned and uh, see what happens. All right, so here's what we picked up for the dually. We got six, of course, because it's a dually. Um, there are 37 inch military tires. Uh, dually in the back, the Humvee wheels in the front, and I think this will look pretty sick on the truck. So, without further ado, we're going to go throw these suckers on there. So I was going to put the wheels on the back as you can see and it doesn't exactly go all the way on. Um, it's actually hitting the row or the drum on the inside here. So it's hitting on this inside ring is hitting right on here. So I'm actually gonna do is try grinding this down some on the rotor and hopefully that will uh, alleviate my issue and I can slide it all the way on. Um, the ro or the drums and disc brakes are kind of temporary anyway. I'm hoping to go to uh, switch it to disc brakes uh, sooner than later. So kind of a temporary solution will be just grinding down that drum. So I'm going to break out the grinder and throw some sparks. Alright, so I went ahead and I ground this down and it actually looks like I'll need to grind just a bit more of the paint still rubbing off on the wheel. But anyway, this is where I had to grind off to get that wheel to fit. And what we're doing right now is just kind of getting the wheels on here and seeing how they look and uh, making sure everything clears and whatnot. Um, in order to permanently mount them, um, what I'm going to have to do is because I'm running Dodge wheels on a Chevy axle and these wheels are um, centered on the hub, you know, they're not centered on the lugs. So since it's hub centric um, and the Dodge is a bigger hole inside, um, if you were just to bolt this on, you know, it'd sit down like that and then it wouldn't spin circular. So I have a good buddy, Donnie, who he's going to turn down this entire surface and then get a big uh, piece of a five inch tube and he's going to turn that down in a lathe um, to match the inside of our uh, Dodge wheel. So we'll have this machined, slide the tube over, that'll fit perfectly on there and then we can bolt our inner wheel on and then we'll just run a two inch or two and a half inch spacer in between and then we can bolt our outside wheel on and everything should be centered and run completely true back here. So that's the plan. Um, I'm gonna throw the wheels on, like I said, kinda just temporary to see what it looks like, and uh, we're gonna go from there. All right, we got the inner wheel on, we got the spacer on and already torqued down. Um, I just threw those on because that's not very interesting, but now we're gonna put this outside wheel on and see how it looks. Right now, this is a two inch spacer, which I think should be enough. Just like that. 
That actually sticks out a little bit even. Stance Nation going on over here. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks pretty good. There's a little bit of room between these wheels. Eventually, I'll probably have to go to like a two and a half inch spacer or maybe three inch. But you could definitely run it like this as long as it wasn't loaded down too much. So I'm going to throw the rest of these lug nuts on here and then drop it down. And then I'll probably do the other side and we'll see how it looks when it's all done. So I. I really, really love the way these things look on here. I uh, I think the stance is perfect. I mean, it's exactly what I was kind of going for, you know, just a classic old school, you know, 80 Chev, you know, kind of style with it. Um, and I think it looks absolutely sick. I can't wait to get this other side on so the entire truck is sitting on the 37s. I'm really excited. This thing is going to look sweet. Just finished putting the wheels and tires on the truck and I think it looks really nice. I mean, it sits exactly how I pictured, you know, it would sit in my head. And I think especially with uh, the 410 gear ratio axles, you know, this thing should cruise really nice in that 70 um, mile per hour range. So I'm super excited about that. Um, like I said, this isn't permanent as far as the rear tires um, and wheels are gonna have to come off. We're gonna have to fix um, or make, you know, a, a spacer uh, for that hub. So it's not permanent. That's why I didn't torque anything down. I'm not gonna drive this on a highway or even on any road for that matter. So don't worry about that. And uh, I wanna give a shout out to Jayton and uh, Donovan. Um, they hooked me up with these wheels and uh, they're pretty cool guys. So thanks again for these wheels. I mean, they make this truck for sure. So I think that'll about do it for this video. Um, coming up here soon, we have to install a radio and do some interior work. Uh, we're gonna put subs in it. So that'll be coming up pretty soon. And then uh, there's a little bit more wiring and uh, modifications we gotta do. We gotta build a battery tray underneath the hood. So those will be some of the next videos you'll probably see on this thing. So um, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the truck. If you like the wheels, if you think uh, they look good, let me know. If you don't, I guess let me know what would look better. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, uh, please hit it if you want to see more videos of this truck. Who needs a truck when you got Hudson?